There's another Malaysian, Wang Song Won, so this could be a double <laughs> for Malaysia again. And 9.71, the only score that's besting both of them from China's Yao Wenzhang. Just a few competitors left. Let's see if Juan Carlos Gomez Perez can cause a real headline here. Already looking a little tight on the shoulders. Jump outside 540. Well, of course, being one of the later candidates, we can see a lot of things happening in his routine that were slightly bettered by other competitors. At times, it does seem that the spear is essentially the extra part of his routine. He's really concentrating a lot more on his jumps mm -hmm. and his body movement, whereas the likes of Wen Song Wong, his compatriot, of course, you, know, you could almost feel the power going through the spear as soon as it landed. Mm -hmm. That's an important point. And this is actually Juan Carlos second World Wushu Championship, so relatively new in yeah. this stage. Yeah. Keeping it safe. As you can imagine, not just the TV cameras and the live stream, but official videos that are recorded by the IWF as well. So Juan Carlos will get to check out his routine again for personal development to see exactly where he was too high or too low, possibly too fast, and sometimes too loose. But a good showing from Team Mexico throughout the week. We've seen a number of athletes all showing a lot of power. <laughs> and that's, as you can tell, I think that's all of them together. 8.41 in the end. Four deductions, two stance deductions, uh, a split deduc deduction, 22 and 64 for not having his... Rear ha hand on the rear side of the spear.